Okay, right here we have the Peg Perigo 24 volt 850 model, the Polaris line. And we're going to take apart the wheel and show you how to replace that. And then we're going to show you how to change out the gearbox and the motor. So one thing I want to do is take my flathead screwdriver, carefully pry this off. Sometimes it's kind of tough, but if you can get in there and pry that out, that'll expose that nut on the axle. And these are usually half inch, so I got two half inch wrenches. The reason I got a half inch for two wheels is because, as you can see this, I'm turning this, and the wheel on the other, the axle, you can't tell, but the axle keeps spinning round and round. So I'm going to reach around, or if you can't reach around, go ahead and get someone to help you. Whoop. Go ahead and reach over here. Okay, so once I break that loose, I'm going to take that nut off, and then I'm going to carefully go ahead and remove this wheel. <laughs> I said carefully, so you'll see right here that this is the coupling that goes into the wheel. You can go ahead and take that out, and then this is part of the gearbox itself right here. So from here, we're going to back off this axle a little bit on the other side. Sometimes it's kind of tight. One thing I like to do is prop up the vehicle with the tire. It's kind of a little trick here. Give you a little bit of support. If it'll stay. There we go. Okay, so we were able to expose the motor and gearbox, so we're going to go ahead and swap this motor gearbox out because only one side is spinning. What you can do a little trick is get a flathead screwdriver because sometimes these terminals are kind of tight. So just kind of pop those out, press on the tabs there. And then those will easily release those right there. So we'll go ahead and swap that out right now. So you can see right here, a lot of times it's not visually, um, you can't tell exactly by looking at it, but this one you can. You can tell that it's kind of got hot and the windings have kind of broken apart. So this wheel is def, this, uh, excuse me, this motor definitely needs to be replaced. The gearbox is fine though. We're going to go ahead and just connect the motor to the gearbox and we'll go ahead and reinstall it. Uh, a trick, just a reminder also, we mentioned this in other videos. Before you put everything all back together, just make sure the wheels are spinning in the same direction so that if it goes forward, it's going to be turning obviously that way in reverse. And if it's not, if the wheels are spinning in opposite direction, just take these wires right here and switch them. So right here is a blue and a red. If the red was on the top and the blue on the bottom, I would just switch those until the wheel spins in the correct direction. So you'll be good to go on that end. So that's just a tip. Uh, before you put everything back together. This was another great tip brought to you by MyPegPerigoParts.com, your source for all your Peg Perigo needs.